in previous video we have already discussed the important question of chapter 4 for practical examination also we discussed some oral questions here we are going to discuss uh, some important questions from chapter 5 as well as some questions which may ask in oral so many of you have requested to explain in asmis uh, or hindi i have already one channel for specially for asmis language so whatever video i upload here most of the video i also translate in asmis and upload it there so you can subscribe there for explanation in asmis also i'll put the link below the video you can watch from there also so at first we are going to do this pattern here you see we are repeating one two three four four five times this type of things we can do by using nested loop if we are going to do by using simple loop we have to use four time loops but using nested loop we can do the program in just using two loop so let's do it first we have to open code block so we'll code block if any of you do not have code block installed in your laptop or computer you can search online c compiler there also you can do the same thing will be continued and also if you do not have a laptop or a computer you can do the program in mobile for that you have to download codings in c that app and you can practice it there for better <coughs> result you can turn off the data then you will not get any ads and if some of you have uh, Linux like Ubuntu then you can download GCC compiler and you can write some command line prompt to compile the programs so let's do it by, by using code block I am going to do the first program it takes some time to open code block depending on the computer processing power so this is the ui of code block at first we'll take a new file and we will change the language into c now to do that program first we required a header file so we'll write include stdio.h then main function int main and after that curly braces and here we'll declare two variable i and j now we are going to write the first outer loop outer loop meets the loop which we write at first in a nested loop and it contain another loop and inside outer loop whatever we write what uh, if we add any other loop it is known as inner loop so we are going to add the outer loop for i equal 1 i less than equal 5 because we have 5 number of uh, rows that's why 5 and i plus plus after that we'll put loop bracket and inside that we'll add another loop that will be j j equal 1 j less than equal 4 because we are printing the number till 4 that's why 4 then j plus plus after that again curly bracket and we are going to use printf statement and here we are going to display the value of j so percentage d and j now we'll come out from the inner loop we'll enter in outer loop and we'll add a printf statement and here we'll write slash n so now we'll come out also from outer loop and here we are going to use return zero statement our program done now we will save the program after that we will compile the program save will give any name to the program i am giving aaa while you are writing the program in exam you write your name along with your roll number so that you can easily remember now to compile we'll go to build menu and build and run and if you do not have any errors we will get the output but if you do have errors we will not get anything 
as you can see the output here we don't have any mistake in the program that's why we are getting the output now we'll do the next program here our output should be this way 1 1 2 3 1 2 3 4 then 1 2 3 4 5 to do this program the program will be almost same just we have to do little changes here instead of 4 we will write i means at first line we will print only till i because i value will be 1 second line the value of i will be 2 and will continue till 2 and this way it will go on so if we compile the program you will see so the output is this way 1 1 2 3 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 5 so we have the changes only here we wrote j less than equal i only this much much changes and remaining part will be same and now we'll come to the third program this is the most important one for both your practical and theory exam 1 1 2 1 1 2 3 2 1 to do this program we have to use four loops total four loops one for number of rows one for the spaces one for this triangle one one two one two three and one for this triangle one two one because we cannot uh, as the number are not in serial order one two three then two one that's why we have to divide the complete triangle into two right angle triangle so let's do it we can do it in this program only so we will take two more variable 1k 1l uh, sorry s here i for number of rows j for the first triangle k for the second triangle and s for spaces now we'll remove this uh, unnecessary part from the program we are inside the main for loop here we are first giving spaces for s equal 1 then s less than equal we will write here we have uh, three number of rows here also you have to write three three number of rows so we'll write three then minus i here minus i why writing at first time if i write three minus i that means i will be one so three minus one two will get two so two will be two spaces will be provided and second time i will be two so three minus two one will get one space so that's way that's how it will go on s plus plus and inside the loop just will print uh, empty space so inverted comma in between one space then semicolon now for the next for loop again we will write 4 now here we are going to use j j equal 1 j less than equal i and j plus plus and in printf statement we are going to display the value of j so printf here we are going to write percent d and j then semicolon and for the next triangle again we will write 4 here we'll write k k equal here as uh, you will see our numbers here in the first triangle first line we don't have to display anything second line we have to display only one third line we have to display 2 and 1 so we cannot directly give j equal k equal 1 otherwise the next number will also be 1 so here we will have to write i minus 1 i minus 1 means first line i will be 1 so 1 minus 1 will get 1 only second time i will be 2 2 minus 1 will get 1 and third time 3 minus 1 will get 2 so this way it will go on and k greater than equal to 1 and k minus minus not plus plus minus minus and inside this loop we are going to display the value of k so it's percent d and comma k semicolon and after this loop we are have to we have to display a new line character for that slash n then semicolon after that uh, so you uh, you can see the complete program once i am decreasing the size so that you can see the whole program at once so this is our program now let's compile and check whether we get the output or not so you can see this is our output one one two one one two three two one now 
next we are going to do this program this is also important 2 2 3 4 2 3 4 5 6 this is uh, exactly same as this program but we don't have to use the third for loop here means for the second triangle whatever we are writing that one no need to write and other part will remain same and here we have to do little changes at first let's us remove the variable k from here we don't require here we need only three variable i j and s s for space j for to display the numbers i for number of lines and here we have to use one logic that is i into 2 minus 1 because at first line we have to display only one element second line we have to display two element third line or second line we have to display three elements right and third line we have to display five elements so we have to use this formula 2 into n minus 1 so our program is done and also now you'll see as we are starting j from 1 so we'll get the output as 1 1 2 3 1 2 3 4 5 but we have to start from 2 so for that we can do one thing here after j we can write plus 1 now we'll see while we compile the program the output will be 2 2 3 4 2 3 4 5 6 so this way we can do this program now let's move to the next program in next program we have to display the stars in this pattern so this program also we have to do here only just we have to remove this part we will keep only i and instead of percent d we will put a star symbol and as we are not displaying any value so we'll cut the j now if we compile this program and also suppose uh, we have to display five number of lines then we'll here write i equal to five less than equal to five and also here five minus i now you'll see we are getting this input uh, output now let's move to the next program this one one two one here you will see the numbers are not in serial order one two after that again one that means we have to use some trick to do that so space we don't require so we'll remove this loop from here and also we don't require here as variable that one also we are removing it and we have to go for j till 2 only so till 2 and after 2 again we have to display extra 1 each line so after exiting from the inner for loop we can write extra 1 before the slash n so now you'll see if we compile this program will the oh star is there not star it should be percent d and j now if we compile this program the output will be 1 2 1 so you can see it here now you see if you know nested loop properly then if you know a program definitely just little do here and there or little changes and you can do other program as well so for that you need more practice two three days are still left so keep on practicing and practice makes you better so that you can do well in your examination best of luck for your exam thank you for watching see you in a new video till then take care and bye